just learn from my mistake, whoever's watching this, or future me, whoever, like if I decide to watch back on these videos, learn from my mistake right now. It's May 13th, 2020, and I'm gonna cut it May 14th, 2020, after I get a little bit more loosened off of my roots. Human beings are magical creatures. We can see what doesn't exist and choose to rise above what is. Unlike any other, humans can feel without having to have actually felt. Okay, update. So my mom was able to get done, like, getting the biggest knots out of my hair, especially in the back. I did end up losing some hair, as you can see. As you can see, this part is thicker than this part because she just had to like yank it out. And then she also had to cut off and back here like a patch of my hair because the knot wasn't coming out. So now the back is kind of like, is this long now? Um, I think curly. And I'm going to have to even out everything else because I still have like tangles, of course, in my hair. But it is in those big matted knots. So this is a message for present viewer and future Raven. Don't you ever do this to yourself ever again. That's a message for future Raven for present viewers. Don't ever do this to yourself, period. Okay, because it's not worth the pain, especially if you're tender-headed. Yank, getting your hair, like, yanked hurts, okay? Getting your hair, it hurts. Especially when those knots aren't coming out. So, just don't do it. Just don't do it. Max for mini twists or mini braids, keep that stuff in max three weeks, okay? Don't go over three weeks because you might have issues, okay? If you're going to wash your hair within that period, I recommend watching, washing it like once or twice max. And after that, take it down. Take it down to tangle. And also for future Raven and present viewer, so... Like when it comes to whatever you have going outside of your life, always set aside set aside time for yourself and to actually take care of yourself because yeah I was washing my hair during it but that isn't like taking care of natural hair taking care of natural hair is washing detangling moisturizing is the whole nine okay it's not just washing your hair conditioning and calling it a day or putting on some leave-in conditioner after you wash and condition and calling it a day okay no you gotta detangle it you gotta make sure you deep condition it. You gotta make sure you moisturize it. Keep your scalp healthy. Keep your ends healthy. Because if you don't, you're gonna run into the same problem that I did. And end up having to cut off so much of your hair. Especially if your hair, it took you a very long time. Like it took me a very long time to grow my hair out. All the way down to my butt. Almost 10 years to do that. And I started growing it out in like 2012. Curly. And it's 2020 now. So that's the eight years right there, just to get it down to my butt. And if your hair grows any slower than that, having to, just running into that one mistake of like not taking care or neglecting it for that amount of time, even if you were washing, were conditioning, and were putting leave in, is not worth it to like cut off all of that, which I'm gonna have to do soon. So the plan that I'm gonna have to do now is I'm gonna wash it right now, and I'm going to blow dry it. And then my mom, she's going to go ahead and cut off what she can see so that it's even all around. And then I'm going to wet it up again. And then I'm going to trim it around so then it's even curly. Because my hair, like any natural nose have what you cut curly or in a stretched, not in a curly state, but what you cut in a stretched out state, whether it be flat iron or blow dried. And then once it curls up, it's not the same length. That just is what it is. So yeah, learn from my mistake. Um, future Raven, don't you ever do this again. It hurts. It hurts. Not emotionally, physically, it hurts, okay? Having your hair ripped, it hurts. So don't do it. As simple as that. Don't neglect yourself over something as silly as grades or something as silly as schoolwork or something as silly as work work. Don't do that. Always set aside time for yourself every single week and every single day, basically, to, like, Make sure that your hair is I, you know? Make sure that you are I. So yeah, that's a message to the present viewer, whoever's watching this, whoever might be sitting on, I don't know, 
a month of wash and go or something still hasn't detangled their hair, learn from my mistake. Get up right now. Detangle your hair, please. You do not want this pain. <laughs> you do not want to have to cut off all of your hair. I'm not even going to film on camera when my mom is cutting my hair. Because, one, she doesn't like being on camera. And, two, I never wanted this to be a big chop moment. I don't. I never wanted a big chop, if I'm being completely honest. I just wanted a little trim here and there. But, no. I'll show you guys when I even up my hair once it's all the way cut down to that length. And I'll show you guys in the bag how much hair had to go, basically. Okay, so I'm done washing my hair. And as you can see back here, this is where my mom had to cut off um that knot or where she had to cut that knot so yeah once i'm done blow drying it out and stretching it my mom said that she wants to cut all around i don't understand for me honest i don't understand the logic in that to cut it while blow dried since i'm going to be wearing it curly but i'm gonna let her do what she gotta do because i can't see the back of my head so i need some help <laughs> um yeah but yeah she's gonna even it out make it all this length so sign our long hair Okay, so I'm gonna do this off camera and be close to the little outlet because this thing is not letting me blow dry my hair in front of this camera. Every single time that I turn on this blow dryer and start doing it, it rips out of the wall. Like, why? So I'm gonna see y'all in a second. Okay, so I just got done blow drying my hair. I blow dried it on medium to high heat. I forgot to use heat, um, heat protectant, which is probably why it feels a little bit brittle. I just keep on messing up when it comes to my hair right now. Like, I don't know what's in the air. I don't know what's going on with me. But I forgot to use heat protectant. It's not going to matter now. It's all going to be cut off. Um, Just by feeling it, it does feel much thinner. If I'm going to be honest, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on the scalp. It feels much thinner. And I think that's because all the mat was like at the root as you guys had seen already and then it just feels super brittle especially the ends the ends are shot like this whole thing right here shot it feels as if i'm not touching velcro i guess like a soft velcro like you know on those shoes it's the um hard velcro that like actually sticks to stuff and it's that little soft fuzzy stuff that's still brittle and that's what the ends of my hair feel like right now so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like in the back. And looks can be deceiving y'all. Even though when I'm watching back on this video, it looks as if my hair was a little bit healthy, it was not. When I tell you it felt brittle, brittle beyond repair. Not even deep conditioner could have saved it. It had to go. Um, I'm gonna come back after my mom is done cutting off my hair while it's blow dried and I'll show you guys what it looks like then and then I'm gonna re-wet my hair up and go ahead and style da, 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 da. it's really weird but I like it I think it's cute when I wet it up it's gonna shrink even more but overall I think it's cute my mom just got done cutting it and I plan on donating my hair or the hair that I cut off I need to look into it to see if they'll be able to accept damaged hair and then see what I have to do for this. Because this is all the hair that I cut off. Let me see if I can see it. This is all the hair that I ended up cutting off. And like on other videos, I know that when they donate hair, they have it in the little twists. Or they have it ponytailed off. And my mom didn't get the text from my aunt. To tell me to donate it until she was basically all done. 
but she did cut like cut it off in clumps so it's like all clumped together in its own separate area so i'll be able to organize it easier hopefully they'll accept it i mean it's a little bit brittle but overall it's hair is hair you know but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and wet it up now what i'm gonna use today to style it is the shea miracle moisture leave-in conditioner and then my mixture of coconut oil, castor oil, and peppermint oil. And then I'm also going to be using some shea butter. And I think today what I'm going to do is... Actually, I'm going to see what it looks like with a wash and go today. And then maybe in a couple days, I'll see what it looks like with a twist out. Because I'm going to do a wash and go first. So then whatever is still hanging out, looking weird... I can just go ahead and trim that up so then it's a little bit more of an even afro, you know? So let's get started. Ryan Little. <laughs> Yoga! that I so far like I really like short hair because on my camera it says 25 minutes but I only spent like 23 doing it because I have to get water but hey look at the back I know that it's probably a little bit uneven right now as I said before my mom cut it while it was in a straight-ish state so once it's all dried up I'm gonna even it out but she just needed to see where it was dead dead so then she could tell where she needed to cut it. At first she was just going to trim it off. But I was like nah. This stuff feels brittle. It feels bad. It ain't up to its healthy standards. Uh uh. If it's dead get rid of it. But yeah this is the end of the video. My carpet is so hairy. From just. Just trying to like get those knots out of my hair. So I'm going to go ahead and vacuum. But with that being said I hope everybody lives their best life. And if you aren't living your best life, please do something to get you on the path of living your best life. And with that being said, peace, love, and light to you all.